I would like to leave this city. This old town don't smell too pretty, and I can feel the worn inside running around my mind. And when I leave this island, I put myself into a soul asylum, 'cause I can feel the worn inside running around my. Scratching around in the same old hole. My body feels young, but my mind is very old. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams that are mine anyway. You're half the world away. Half the world away. Half. You know I'd stay, but I just can't stand it, and I can feel the warning signs running around my mind. And if I could leave this spirit, I'd find me a hole and I'll live in it, and I can feel the warning signs running around my. Scratching around in the same old hole. My body feels young, but my mind is very old. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams of the mind anyway. Half the world away. Half the world away. Half. Huge thank you to our channel member, Jessica Rainbow. <clears throat> I think it's working. Should be fine. Yes, uh, welcome along ladies and gentlemen to what is supposed to be something a little different but 
I'll get on to it in a second, however, so we're doing the flights in tonight. Welcome along to your Monday flight night here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. And as always, I hope you are well. Um, so, um, supposed to have done OMSI tonight, but here's what Wayne's done to OMSI. He's broke it. Uh, but I've been I've been told that he's worked it uh, and managed to get it working again. So uh, that's back tomorrow. So we're tro chopping chopping days. So you get two days without me after today. Oh, you lucky lot. Um, so let me show you what we're on board this evening for our flight. We're on board the Flight Sim Studios in Brea 190 uh, in KLM City Hopper Colours. And we are headed from Amsterdam up to Alsund in Norway. Flight time today should be about an hour and 40 minutes. Should be a nice one. Should see some northern lights as well, which would be quite nice. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, should be uh, should be a half decent stream this evening. Hope you all enjoyed the quiz last night as well. It was uh, it was a bit of a fun one, wasn't it? A bit of a fun one last night. So hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's say hello to those that are in the chat and uh, we'll go through some of the uh, comments that were mentioned as well. Um, so, uh, Gail, good evening to you. I um, hope you are doing well. Uh, I'm not going to do it just yet. Uh, 67 Driver, new name to the chat. Hello to you. Hope you're well. It says, uh, have they updated the uh, the ERJ? I remember the LNAV slash VNAV being wacky. So the LNAV works for me. Like, I have no issues with it. I I quite like flying this plane. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's any issues with the, the LNAV, which tells me they may have updated it. To be honest, I haven't really checked. But to me, every time I've used it, I've had no issues, if that makes sense. So to me, it's just like it's, it's it's a working plane, essentially. That's how I see it. But I have I have read before that sometimes the LNAV and VNAV can be a little wacky. But for me, the LNAV works perfectly. It follows the flight plan as expected. You can get from A to B quite nicely. Um, Sarah's in the chat. Why did that not come up? Like I might just try that again. Should we try that again? There we go. 67. Driver, you are more than welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Uh, then we've got Lee Class. Evening to you. Gemma, evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Lynn, evening to you. Um, of course, Jack's here. So Jack is here. Uh, evening to you. We may as well go for it. Get your limbs ready because we're about to move them. Here we go. Five Crawford's on fire. YouTube chat is terrified. Crawford's on fire. Boom. Yes, uh, Carl Crawford's in the chat. Hello to you. Hope you're doing well. Dan Graham, photography. Um, hello to you. Uh, Bernice Thompson, evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Worldwide, uh, Moan, Dom, sorry. Uh, hope you're well. Uh, Max is in the chat, but for how long, I don't know. Uh, and of course, lastly, Frank's here. <laughs> Indeed. Good stuff. Right, shall we crack on? Because I feel like we might need to. I'm curious about all those flashing lights outside. Oh, what's happened? Okay, Amsterdam is at a frozen standstill. I think that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of flashing lights. I wonder if it's got a bug again. Oh boy! Let's pretend that's not happened. <laughs> right. 
Uh, let's go for it. Let's go for some GSX. Let's go for the jetway. Of course, we'll go KLM to deal with us. Get the batteries turned on and get the external power switched on as well. Yep, everything's looking good. Happy days. Uh, let me just get the chat up on my phone. Bear with me two seconds and then I can follow along as we go into uh, full screen. Cool. Okie doke. Bear with. Everyone's like, Disco, Alien Invasion. It's a little bit like it. Wayne's now in the chat. Uh, evening to you, Wayne. Hope you're well. Uh, let's get the, uh, the APU switched on as well. Which is there. So this is all fine. This will all be sorted in a second. Trying to navigate which buttons are for the top, if there are any. I can't remember if there is. This will sort of do. Jack says, oh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Carl says, UFO de uh, descending on the dam. Cool. Right, so we've got the aircraft pretty much where we want it to be for the minute, which is good. So we will go for boarding. Boarding requested. Happy days. <laughs> Darren says, no more Jackie, please, because I had nightmares about that. Don't worry, I, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain we all did. Max says the flight sim studios in Brea is way better than the virtual coal one. In other news, the sky is blue and water is wet. The gloves have given me nightmares, says Sarah. Sarah's not a huge fan of gloves in the in the uh, well in any department, I suppose. I, I don't know what I was going with with that. Take everything out for the moment. Whoa, too bright. That day. We need to coffee. Max is the only one to love Jack being cabin crew yesterday. I think it just literally gave everyone else nightmares. Crew boarding starting. Darren says it was more of a skirt, it wasn't on properly at all. So, <clears throat> to safely say that Jack is not an expert when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, 
It's either that or we had it on backwards or sideways or God knows what. Cool, so we're all sorted uh, and ready to go. Um, the other things I'm looking for here, really, just while we're waiting for the passengers to board. Your crew has boarded. Passengers boarding starting. That's the floodlight. We don't need the floodlight. Chart light, no. no I think I think we're we should be alright. Alright for the minute, unless there is a, there's a dome light somewhere in there. I know there is, I can't think where. There you go, that's a dome right there. Cool. Got it sorted. We're alright. We're good. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um Let's uh let's just get it correct. Uh wasn't me that messaged you, Max, you were the one that messaged me. On the Facebook page, uh, and he's also asking: Any plans to do Silver Airways from Tampa to Greensboro in the ATR or the A320 Neo, please, for next week? Uh, zero plans. Zero plans for Silver Airways at the moment, and most likely ATR because they do not have the A320 Neo. Darren says: Question: Why do you both like dressing up? Where did the fetish come from to dress up? Oh, well, I did mine as a dare. I don't know what Jack did for his. But mine was a dare. There was a hefty donation that came in. So I honoured the donation. And that's kind of where it went. So it says, sure, sure. It's normally the way I don't have any intention to message people on the Facebook page. Or the Facebook page's messenger, rather. If I'm missing any comments, apologies. Such a wind-up merchant, Sarah, honestly. <laughs> Gail says it was uh, it was brilliant. I mean, it, it was something. I'm not entirely sure if it was actually brilliant, but it was certainly something. Should be good route. It's like the longest three-hour journey to get there. Yeah, three hours is super long. Yeah, it's like driving driving from uh, Devon to London is like long haul. It's three hours. Long haul. So let me know how your Monday was. How did your week start? Did you have a good one? What'd you get up to? If you had work, how was it? If you had school, how was it? And if you had nothing, how was it? <laughs> Try to think of the other one then. Uh, Lee says, uh, good day at work. Thanks, Tom. No problem. Glad you had a good one. Mine wasn't too bad. Sarah says, parade today. Got cold and wet. That should have been quite warm yesterday. And then I said, oh, at least it ain't raining. And then about half an hour later, it started raining. So I, th I feel like it was my fault. Uh, Gail says, very good day studying. I'm ready for a attunement in... Oh, my Christ. Very good day studying. I'm ready for attunement in Recce Masters next week. 
I'm going to pretend I know what that is. But good luck. <laughs> I'm going I'm to pretend I know what that is. like an exam. Oh, okay. Well, but the good luck came into it, so that's fine. I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the hard work will pay off. This is the problem, you see. When I try and sound genuine, I also sound like I'm. Uh, it sounds like I'm being very sarcastic. I've had this pointed out to me several times. When I'm trying to be like genuine, I sound very sarcastic. Gemma says, had a good day in the office today, doing a volunteer day at a food bank tomorrow with a few people I work with, so just making sure everything was still going ahead as planned. Very good. <laughs> Jack's laughing at Jenny Brooks. Yeah, I don't know, don't quite know who Jenny Brooks is. Um, Max, are you able to watch my stream on Wednesday? Mm, I've already told you. Uh, I've already told you about this. It may not even be going ahead. After what you did. And I don't know. What am I going to do on Wednesday? What shall I do? I could watch grass grow. I could watch paint dry. Or I could match what, uh, watch Max AI pilot a plane into the ground. There's so many choices. I've got so many choices for Wednesday. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Uh, Carl Crawford, 13-hour uh, day, started at 4 a.m. this morning, so glad I have half days for the rest of the week. That's the one. I've got two deliveries tomorrow in Exeter, and that is my day done. So I'm looking forward to a nice, nice finish. Uh, Jack says, just getting the last few vids on the museum vid thing. Uh, gonna send to you, Tom, but honestly felt like it's improved slightly on the blog shenanigans. What, what, so why are, you, why are you sending it to... Just upload it. Why are you sending it to me for? Upload it. Upload it to YouTube. I'll, crit I'll critique it that way. Wayne's returned, I didn't even know he left. About uh, a third of the way through, or halfway through rather, sorry, of boarding our passengers for our flight over to Arlesund. We'll be picking out uh, a flight for Thursday as well. It's the next time that I'm back on. Uh, Wayne is with us tomorrow and Wednesday, so lucky you getting Wayne two days in a row. And maybe lucky me for getting two days off in a row. So we'll pick a flight for Thursday. I'm thinking of doing ATR and then Friday MD11 again. That's the idea. Of a nice long, longish route with the MD11 for Friday. Wayne says new map day tomorrow. Yes, we'll we'll, uh, we'll let you know what's going to happen. We'll let you know what uh, what the uh, what the plan is for uh, for tomorrow, a little bit later on. Uh, 
it. Carl says, quick question for Jack. Is he allowed back at Kemble after last night's whatever you call it? Well, funnily enough, it wasn't at Kemble. It was at Bournemouth uh, Aviation Museum. So whether he's allowed back there or not is a totally different story. <laughs> whether Kemble have seen it is a totally different story. I might send it to them and just say, look, March 30th, that's when he's going to be going. Just, just keep an eye out for this guy. Uh, Mark, evening to you. Hope you're doing well. My bad thought it was Kemble. I can see why, but no, it was it was Bournemouth. It's a long way to go to try and pull off a skit like that. Okay, don't well well at least I don't I don't need to uh I don't need to tell you what's happening a little bit later on because Wayne's already done it. He's uh he's obviously just skipped ahead of the queue there. But uh the Lincolnshire map tomorrow for Wayne on Omsi. Jonah says I'm gonna have to watch it now just to see how bad it was. Your, uh, it's literally after I bring everyone back on screen uh, on the quiz, quite literally uh, bring everyone back on and then we talk about Jack's doppelganger and then the video gets played what a sight to see <laughs> Jackie Mark says, what a legend Jackie is. I don't know if I'd say legend, but I'd, I'd definitely say something. What a bitch. <laughs> Sarah says, is Jackie single? I'm not surprised if she is. I'm not surprised if she isn't. Carl says fair play to Jackie. So <laughs> we've been through this already. You know you know damn well why I was typing. Thank you. Oh, there's so much conversation to have here with this, but let's go for it. Jack says, I've got to say it, Tom. That's boosted the confidence massively uh, doing that yesterday, blog-wise. Which bit? Are we on about the bit with Jackie? Did that boost your confidence? Because, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gemma says, oh, my eyes. Oh, you weren't on about the Jackie bit. Uh, okay. Yeah, going to be Jackie now more often. It's just amazing. How all of a sudden you can have like one skit as a woman and now you're just feeling it. So he'd be like waving the finger. He'd be like plumping the hair that's still on his head because he forgot the wig. Right, dancing like Beyonce. <laughs> Yeah, one of those, uh, one of those things. Uh, Wayne has come out with even more info that uh, I was hoping to wait until the end. Uh, Scunthorpe to Lincoln, one hour, 40 minutes, and then maybe uh, it's a town service. So a nice long route for tomorrow on OMSI. Max says, I think we might get Jack's new channel called Jackie Rolls Aviation. Hmm. That would be quite interesting. Hello, my name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. 
Mark says, I mean, I'd sub, definitely. <laughs> I think Mark enjoyed Jackie way too much. <laughs> so I feel like that could be the question of the night. Is like, if you were to have an alter ego, what would it be called? I want to change the name of mine. I, I, I want to change it completely from Tomalina. Like... There was a name I wanted to go with, but I was like, <laughs> well, don't mind. Can't go with that one anymore. Like, Tanya or something. Can't use Tina. Mm -mm. Right, boarding is complete, so we can go for the beacon lights. Uh, get those switched on which are there just have a look on the outside yeah beacon light is on excellent stuff uh, we can now go ahead and prep for our push uh, we can shut the doors here as well Rid of the wheel chocks. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. Uh, prep for a push sounds medical says Sarah sorry it's just easy way of saying it I guess uh, Dom says you it's just easier to create and alter you via AI but I mean possibly I can neither confirm or deny. Yeah, let's go for that. That looks good to me. Exiting from editing mode. Please wait. Hoping to hear. Chill, everybody. He's all right for the minute. Everyone, chill. Uh, have you tried it? What, to AI myself? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Like, can they do things like twats? And knobheads. Because I feel like that the image that might come up might be a little bit different. Really sparking brakes, please. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Right, let's go for it. Let's uh, kick the uh, kick the engines into gear. Should see some numbers. The N2 number is up and running. Let's go to the outside. Parking 
God damn. Waiting your confirmation for our good engine start. A noisy fucking bastard. Right, here we go. Here comes number one. Let's get that started and let's go to the outside. Noisy fucking bastard. Right, there you go. That's as much as you're going to get for the minutes. Uh, so let's. Um, let's let ground, no, uh, ground services know that we've got a good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking here. Mm. Uh, so Dom just sent me the pictures of the uh, the AI version of himself. I might give it a go during the stream. See what it comes up with. Mark says that's a smart livery. Do you like the KLM livery? Sarah says, too much coffee, can't stop peeing. Sarah says, please show, thanks. One, maybe once I've, I've done it, once I've done it, I'll show it. Tow track disconnected. Bypass being removed. Left is clear, right is clear. If it looks anything like Jackie, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> show Dom's as well. Uh, well, if Dom wants me to show it, I will. But I'll have to get them off Instagram, because that's where he sent it to me. Alright, Dom says feel free. Okay. Okay, so there is one picture actually that you, you sent that as a girl you look so much like Charlie XCX. If you don't know, Google. But you look so much like Charlie XCX. And I'll put this to the panel of people that are watching. But I'll do that once we're in the air. But you really do look like Charlie XCX. And it's a weird... It's a weird thing. As AI. Yes. Let me find the app now so at least it's downloaded, ready to go. Max will be back after takeoff. Sarah says, What's the bloody app? Don will tell you if he wants to. Uh, 
Okie doke, let's go for it. Parking brake off, let's spool up, let's get taxing. We will share the photos first, yes. Noisy goddamn fucking plane. So here we go for the taxi out to runway 18 left today. For our flight over to Allesund. We're going to get the flaps in place already. So we are good to go. Hoping this KLM doesn't come anywhere near us, which it isn't, thankfully. <laughs> Carl says hashtag long taxi or hashtag short taxi. It is a hashtag medium taxi. It's not too long and it's not too short, therefore it's a hashtag medium taxi. Here we go. Oh, Jackie, happy Monday all. Emma doing her job. Thank you very much, Jack, for the super chat. Another way that everyone can obviously donate this evening. Of course, super chats, super stickers, via Kofi, which is pinned to the top of the chat. Lee Class coming up with 11 months of the Members Lounge. Uh, it says, Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday, indeed. Hashtag middle taxi, says Carl. Go, you can go that, or you can go medium. Middle or medium sounds about right. We've got a plane that's decided it's going to try and come towards us now. We will get out of that one's way. Don't forget to have a look and see if you've got any milestones. If you do have the milestones, pop them in the chat. Darren Graham coming up with nine months of the Members Lounge. Thank you for your continued support. Oh, Jackie, oh, Jackie, oh, oh, no. Stop it. Jackie. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for the super chat. Emma telling Jackie, oh Jackie, to stop it. Nine months, nine days for Sarah. That was a very stern stop it. <laughs> Gemma coming in with the cream eggs there.
Oh, I get it now. Right, I see. I was reading the chat and I was like, what's overdue? Now I know. Now I see it. I read it. I understand. It's all good. So, it should be a decent flight, this one, over to Arlesund. This is not a medium taxi. What? It is a medium taxi. The holding point is quite close. We're close to the, uh, we're close to the holding point. You dumb. No, you dumb bum. <laughs> no, you a dumb bum. No, you a dumb bum. You both dumb bums. Tom chatting with Tomalina. Still need to change the name, and I will do. And I'm not a huge fan of the name Tomalina now. She will. She'll probably change her name by D Pol. Miranda, <laughs> bear with. Miranda could be interesting. Right, there you go. There you go. So I told you. So I'm going to get the sounds up. Turn my mic off. We're going to take off now for Alsund. So enjoy the sounds of the flights in uh, Embraer 190 as we depart Amsterdam. Let's go.
So there we go, one noisy goddamn fucking Embraer bastard. That we've just taken off from Amsterdam for our flight over to Arlesund. I enjoy this airplane immensely. The uh, the phrase that she was saying as well was uh, high speed. Cool. Right, there we go. So now we're up to our full capacity for speed. And away we go. So, at the same time, what we can begin to do is have a look, or have a nosy at least, for our flight uh, for Thursday. Uh, Gemma says that might be my next one to try and learn what this this uh, this plane. Yeah, so that that's what I'm going with as well. Was that we were talking about? Uh, we were talking about this the other day, actually. Uh, we were talking about the uh, the things with um, Easter egg, uh, chocolate, uh, cornflake cake thing, rice krispie cakes, whatever. Right, so, 
gonna uh, I'm gonna have a look at this AI stuff now. Uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, Paul Hussey, by the way, thank you so much. Uh, awfully kind, thank you so much. I'm just, uh, I'm just uploading some god awful selfies here. Hang on. Uploading. Let me know if it's any better. So the only reason it buffered then was because uh, I was uploading the, uh, the photos to the app. And for some reason it decided to kill the internet at the same time. So it's not, it's not what you were doing, it's what I was doing. Uh, it's just generating generating the photos yeah so like I said it's not it's not what you were doing it's just the fact that I was uploading these photos to the app and it killed my internet at the same time so fear not
Jack, you should never melt chocolate in the microwave anyway. It's the quickest way to burn it. In a bowl over a boiling pan of water. Quite literally, boiling pan of water. Heat proof bowl. That's all you need. Apparently it takes a while for the first lot of photos to be uploaded. Just waiting for AI to do its thing. Forty seconds remaining, here we go. Let's see what it's going to come up with. Yeah, Carl, I think he's playing. Jack literally puts the foil in the microwave as well as the actual egg itself. Right, here we go. Let's see what it's going to come up with for the AI photos of for myself. It says time left zero. Why are you not doing anything? Take a look. Right to save. Okay. Left to trash. Okay, cool. Oh, it's like Tinder. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh god. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. If I couldn't look any more like a smug prick in uh, in these videos, uh, in these uh, in these photos. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Man, AI must think really bad of me. Like Okay. Time to get some more. Hang on. Because I think it's only fair that we do a gender swap one. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, how do you like search on this thing? Oh, 
Oh my god. That's weird. Right, hang on. So I'm just, uh, at the moment, just trying to... <coughs> excuse me. Ah, oh, there we go, that's the one. Right, I'm going to go again. It might cut the internet. It might not, actually. It might be fine. Right, I'm going to get getting a second batch of photos, then I'll show them. In the meantime, I will save the ones that we've got already. Dude, you look so much like Charlie XCX, my god. <laughs> so, that is so creepy. That's so strange. Right. I'll show Dom's first, all right? So, here comes Dom with AI. Right, okay, so let's move on to the next. Whoa, look at Dom. Whoa, look at Dom. Even the even the boys are going, whoa, look at Dom. What a what a Viking hero. <laughs> what a hero. Ha <laughs> 
Mark says, yeah, he can raid my village any day. Fwaaah. Or Dom. <laughs> I've got so many photos to show off. Here we go, it's a close up. <laughs> That's the happiest you'll see Dom for a long time. <laughs> I got loads to get through, so I'm gonna I'm gonna race through them. All right, I'm gonna race through some of these now. Here comes uh, Formula One Dom. Dom Hamilton. Businessman Dom. Looking very dapper. Dom for PM, says Carl. Dom will sort this country out. Uh, m, m Aviation, uh, hello to you. Hope you're well. Thank you for uh, for uh, taking the time this evening to join us. It says, how was the ERJ-190 physics? To me, absolutely fine. To me, they're absolutely fine. And so the next part is where I mentioned that uh, Dom, as a woman, looks like Charlie XCX. Tell me, tell me you can't, tell me you can see that. Tell me you can see Dom as Charlie XCX. If you don't know who she is, Google her. Uh, Eminem Aviation, think about flying it from uh, Amsterdam to, uh, to, Os oh, to Oslo. Do it, do it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great little plane. It's a great little one to, uh, to fly around. Charlie XCX, I told you, I told you, he definitely looks like her. Which now means every time I look at Charlie XCX, all I'm going to think about is Dom. <laughs> so that's ruined that for me. Because I'm a big fan of Charlie XCX. So that's ruined that for me. Alright, so apparently here's what I look like in AI, after AIing myself. <laughs> oh boy. That's apparently what I look like as AI. <laughs> yeah, you can also see the app as well that it's from Remini. If you want to give it a go, you do have to uh, subscribe on a free trial. You can cancel at any time. <laughs> it gets worse. Trust me, it gets a lot worse. It gets a lot worse. Still gets worse. Trust me. Oh yeah. Gets a lot worse. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Gets a lot worse. The white trousers. I, I, for, for the record, I would never 
wear white trousers. These, on the other hand, maybe. <laughs> If you listen very carefully, you'll hear the sound of Sarah about to fall off of her chair. Probably with laughter. We don't need helmets where we're going. Jesus, indeed. And last one. Last one. As a man. Eminem Aviation says, uh, so what's your favourite airport, uh, airport approach? Uh, probably Nice, I think. That cardigan. It's not, it's not stuff I'd wear. It's definitely not stuff I'd wear. But... Here is apparently what AI thinks I would look like as a woman. I think the purple dress needs shown. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll get that in a second. But here's apparently what AI think I look like as a woman. Steady, boys. Steady. God damn, I'd make a fit woman. <laughs> this is what AI thinks I would look like as a woman. Easy, son. Easy. Put the tissues away, everyone. And the socks. Put the socks away, boys. Mate, who would not want to date me if I look like that? Dom, you're not funny. I feel like that's fat shaming. And I'm certainly not fat. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Here's another one. And that is where we will leave it. Because I don't want to show anymore. Uh, so. Uh, let's get. Uh, Carl says no. No, she's, uh, she's working.
Uh, no, Dom, no purple dress. Right, here's the region then for Thursday. Gonna try and pick this one out. So we've got North America, Asia, Europe or South America. This will be for the ATR. Provided I can find a flight to do it with. So tie at the moment for North America and Asia. Uh, the one more vote uh, to separate North America and Asia. I was saying not Europe. Don't think you'll get Europe, personally. Jim is going for North America. <clears throat> so it's daytime and we can see the plane. I have a couple of ideas for both. Really depends on which one gets the vote and we will do so with North America for Thursday ideal so look and see what we can find
Uh, Dom, no worries. Right, so I'm just picking, uh, picking the uh, potential routes for Thursday.
just got one more to pick and then uh, Here come you four. So Tampa to Piedmont uh, Triad, uh, Nassau to Proven Pro Provid Bleh. Providenciales, Charlotte to Baltimore, or Whitehorse to Old Crow. So one of those routes will be for Thursday.
Okay, so. Right, let's send the pole there. Uh, we are doing... So 45 minutes remaining on the flight. Uh, so coming away Thursday is this one, Charlotte to Baltimore on the American Eagle ATR-72. Uh, on uh, on on Thursday. Of course, in between that, Wayne will be here with Omzi uh, tomorrow and Wednesday, so I get two days to kind of not stream. Sarah says, uh, after the quiz, uh, oh, sorry, are from the quiz. Yes. It's very difficult to find American operators of the ATR. So I thought we'd go retro. I thought we'd go for American Eagle. So yes, I have however started now to go, I've noticed that I'm a little quiet, I kind of lost the motivation to stream this evening, so I kind of just want this flight to get on and land. Carl says, reminds me of the toothpaste, can't think of what it was called, is it Aquafresh? I think Aquafresh is the one you're thinking of. <clears throat> 
Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go grab a drink. Okay. Uh, Carl, I didn't. No. I didn't get my ice cream. Because I would have figured it was going to be a bit messy, like trying to eat an ice cream and drive at the same time. <coughs> I can only focus on one thing or another. So we are just approaching.
coast of Norway. Driving's more important. I didn't want to get ice cream everywhere and just watch it melt. I should have the northern lights on, yes. God, didn't mean that. Sorry, sorry. The other lights should be on. What is also on is our landing lights. I've totally forgotten about them. That's better. Yeah, that's taxi lights there, so that's fine. We can keep those on. Northern lights should be on. Why is it not showing? Why are they not showing? It looks green here. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye out. So we're coming up to sort of uh, Stavanger. We'll see the airport of Stavanger shortly. Five minutes before we're due to land. Have we got any room for speed here? We do. Oh fuck, that's the altitude, didn't we? No. Nope. See if we can get a bit more, uh, a bit more speed in there. Uh, any London City flights in the future? Uh, there will be. Uh, whether it's with this or uh, the uh, Embraer, or whether it's with uh, some other private jet. Looking at doing the Honda jet again. Uh, very soon. I think we've only done one with that. And we're looking to do the Vision Jet. You know, the, the one engine plane? That one? The one that's like wearing an engine on the back? Or bring some more private stuff to, uh, to the streams? Honda Jet, uh, it is yes. If you look on the uh, if you look on the website that I mentioned to you ages ago, um, 
Uh, God. Uh... Uh, go to MSFS aircraft, then the aircraft type, go to business aircraft, and it is the second one on the list. Uh, sorry, that's the vision jet, forgive me. Uh, the Honda jet is 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 11 in, basically on the fourth, uh, fourth row. Oh, there's one, uh, one engine, London City to Shannon. Could be worth a shout. The best thing about private jets is you can just literally book them from one place to another without actually having to look for a real world flight. City to Jersey. Could do City to Jersey and back, really. So six subs away from uh, 3,100 subscribers. Not that I'm keeping count and not that it matters to me, but uh, quite nice to see that we're uh, gaining a little bit of traction, which is nice. If you are watching and you're not uh, subscribed, do feel free to hit the subscribe button. Get us to 3,100. Just the six subs away. Carl says one engine Jersey to Lid or Benbridge. What's Benbridge like? Because I'll have to have a look. Hang on. Bem. No. Bem. Benbridge Airport. It's grass, is it? No, is that concrete? Oh, it is. It's concrete. Oh, I didn't even know. You might not be able to get that there, though. I think you'd have to do that with a um, uh, a propeller plane. Sarah says, uh, Shannon to Dublin to Shannon. On the vision jet. Vision jet would be quite interesting to do. Uh, Shannon to Dublin to Shannon. I'm really intrigued that there's no lights around at the moment. Unless it is all on the horizon there. Let's have a look outside. It's looking pretty clear at the moment. Bit of cloud. Unless that is cloud and not snow. But part of me thinks that is snow. No? Is that cloud? Yeah, that's cloud. That's a fucking storm and a half, that is. Don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the ground or whether that is... It looks to me like it's the ground. So it's probably snow. It's alright. It's all good. I 
think that's snow. It's definitely not mashed potato. What was the what was the last flight we did with the Vision Jet? It was like Montpellier or something, wasn't it? I can't think what it was. Reminder that Wayne is with us tomorrow, or, well, for the next two days. Um, with uh, with Omzi, so I'm back on Thursday. If you missed it, here's what we're doing. We're back on the ATR from Charlotte to Baltimore on the e uh, American Eagle. Should be a should be an interesting one indeed. <coughs> let's uh, let's hope that the ATR behaves. It has done in testing, so it'd be nice if it did behave. Uh, otherwise, twenty four minutes before we're due to land. I think it is. I th I'm fairly certain that is snow. So we're going to begin descending shortly. I'm really surprised that there's... Unless... Unless because... The sim has decided to update itself. Not to the new update yet, because that's not out until next week. Uh, unless what they've done... This one. Um, it. I don't know. I'd have, I'd have thought. Uh, I'd have thought that um, I'd say they'd be quite prominent at the moment, but maybe it's just sort of like timing and stuff. Just, just not seeing it. Just not seeing it. Right. Let's have a look at our tablet here. Let's have a look. Flight details. Now, oh, you son of a bitch. So I thought we could have a look at like Metar and stuff, but it's not. Is it not connected? I'm sure I've, I haven't connected it. That's why I can't see because I've not connected the uh, the thing. Okay. through the options here, passenger announcements. I've not heard any passenger announcements. Okay. It's fine. I was going to see if I could look at the weather and just see what the weather was uh, going to throw us, but uh, obviously not. Broken cloud at 5,100, so we should be absolutely fine. Should be a half decent landing. Uh, I don't think it does, Gemma. I think it's more of like a... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it, I thought they'd be around by now. Because to the point of where we're going, it's like... I don't know. Normally, normally I would imagine it would cover it. I've done it before in Poland and there's been Northern Lights. I don't know. I might have to spawn into like Aberdeen or something when we're finished. And just see if it is working.
Why am I getting notifications about that shit? So it is, yeah, so it's real world weather. I don't fly without the real world weather. Uh, maybe they're just not visible at the minute. I don't know. I thought they would have been. But, uh, but, but maybe not. Go away. Right. Uh, so we can actually begin descending, which is fabulous news. So let's do it. So 24,000 feet we'll go to, to start with. Right, so there you go. So, descent's begun. I can see green. There you go. Green. They are on. I thought they were. There you go. There's your proof. Northern lights are working. And they're visible. We're all good. So, I don't think it's done in real time. Northern lights are visible. I knew it. So when, so when you saw the green on the horizon, that's why. Guess what flight I'm doing on Saturday and what plane I'm flying. We're going to have some buffering in a minute. Oh no, we're good. I was just about to say, yeah. Uh... It's alright, we're good. It's fine. I think it, it may have buffered for a split second, but I think we're alright. Um, 
So let's indulge. Uh, guess what flight I'm doing on Saturday and what plane I am flying. It could be fucking anything at this point. It could be fucking anything. So let's 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 try and guess. Jakarta to Los Angeles. Cessna 152. I mean, it couldn't be any more fucking vague if it tried. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. What day is Saturday? No, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, I'm sorry. I'm not having this. Twenty four hours, dude. Oh, God, what's happened to my fucking camera? This is what happens when you give Streamlabs to Wayne. I'm sorry, um, 24 hours is clearly not enough. Like, what is it? Like, what is it? Like, try and piss me off day today or something? What? Like, Did you, did you not see it? Hang on. See that there, look now. What you've just witnessed is the stream get deleted because he's just realised he's fucked up again. So Jim might not be here, but I am. And I'm not tolerating it. So I've tried really hard to go down the benefit of a route, uh, sorry, benefit of a doubt route. Now I just go back to the whole thing. And I just go back to literally somebody take some fucking pliers and cut the cunt's internet. I've used the C word on stream 
because I feel like I have to at this point. Somebody cut his fucking internet. I don't particularly want to be dropping C-words. I've tried to. I've tried to go down the benefit of, benefit of a doubt. And be like, okay, yeah, cool, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then essentially, for, for giving the benefit of the doubt, I'll go and get shit all over with that. And it's every goddamn fucking time. Because, okay, so at this point, I've already said when I came back from the, the week's break that I wouldn't hold back. I'm not going to. The reason he does it, Mark, is because he's a fucking idiot. I have tried multiple times to, to give him the error of his ways and why he's annoying a lot of people. But it goes in one ear out the other and it fucking continues. So I generally don't know how much further I can hold back with it. It's 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 one thing after a fucking other with this stream tonight. And I'm that close to just being like, you know what, fuck the landing. I can't be bothered. Investing my time that I could be sat doing something else. And this is exactly what I get for investing my time that could have been spent doing something else to get absolutely pissed all over and shat on. multiple fucking times in one particular stream
I also don't want anyone to tell me that he doesn't know what he's doing because he fucking does. I've just shown you proof. I don't want anyone I'm trying to fucking defend. Because countless times when everyone sat there and shit all over him and I've gone and given him the benefit of a doubt, this is the shit I fucking get as a thank you. For, for 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 giving that benefit of a doubt for allowing him to still be on the fucking streams and the thanks I get is I'll just take the flight you've just fucking mentioned and I'll copy it like the absolute colossal cunt that I am I don't care about the C word tonight I don't give a shit I don't give a shit if you're offended by it sorry but I don't give a shit colossal fucking penis I am fucking raging at this point because what's the point? So I have a question, because this is kind of this is now the mood I'm in, right? Why, why should I complete this?
I'll finish it purely for the fact that we are literally close to landing. So here's, here's where we are in terms of the approach and everything else. I'd, uh, I'd like to also once again reiterate how much I hate this fucking hobby. falling out of love with something that I, I should not be falling out of love with. It's because of fucking assholes like that. that I have to wake up every day knowing that my love of aviation is associated with people like that. And the fucking annoyance of being associated with people like that is what makes me fall out of love with with aviation. No, but that's that's the thing. It's not. It's not. Aviation will always be around. I won't be. The problem is, and 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 a handful of people know this, so I'm literally just gonna out it for everything at the minute. People like me get associated with people like that because of the fact that it's a community thing for aviation. You go, you say to somebody, I like aviation, they'll immediately think of people like that. And then put you, uh, paint you with the same fucking brush as that person. Thankfully, I have found someone that hasn't done that, which is absolutely, you know, it's like fucking spot on, it's perfect. But it's still knowing the association is still there regardless. So almost like the only way to get myself out of that association is to stop enjoying my hobby and just not do it. And that at the moment is the road I'm going down. There are too many, too many assholes.
in this community. There's too many of them. I don't want to be associated with them. I have got a long fucking list of people that are in that category. And that long list of people I do not want to be associated with. You, you, at the same time, you can all say about like not letting it get to me. I'm fucking raging at this point. To the point where if I was literally a cartoon, I'd honestly have smoke coming out of my ears. I am fucking fuming at this point. I am. I, I don't. I don't remember the last time I felt this fucking pissed off about stuff. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing is, is that I shouldn't be feeling pissed off at all. Because theoretically, I have no reason to be pissed off. Except tonight, I've got fucking many reasons to be pissed off. But hey ho, there you go. Life is never fucking simple, is it? It's never simple when you have to deal with fucking clowns every single part of the fucking day. So it's going to be a ranty end to the stream because that's just generally how I'm feeling at the minute. So I will end the stream once I've landed. I can't deprive or rob you of a landing not this close to it Right. Anyway, time for the uh, usual shtick. What do we reckon the landing will be? We are coming in a bit cacao. Yeah.
let's adjust this. Let's do this ourselves. justice ourselves it's brought us in really weird I can't find the auto brake thingy either what's that we'll go for a two uh, Mark 165 Lim 120 Gale 165 Gemma 199 Wayne going for a 145 and a Rob Brown 189 this is really I don't know why it's bought this wasn't really cack handed. I don't understand why. Really kind of can this bit backwards. All right, let's see what we can do. Can't tell if we've got a bit of winds uh, pushing the aircraft. Car 175, Lee 195. Really? Fuck off. Don't matter. It's not really the important thing. What is important is that we are down. didn't really have 418 about it it's hard to know what to let's have a look no apparently it was it was as hard as it looked all right whatever I don't fucking care at this point uh, let me end the replay uh, I'm not going to park up because, quite frankly, I don't want to. We'll do it anyway. I don't care. Thank you for flying Ryanair. Last year, over 90% of our flights arrived on time. We hope you enjoyed yours and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Ryanair. Low fares, made simple. Yeah, it looked alright to me, but apparently not. So, whatever at this point. Um, 
I will probably be fine by Thursday. The next two days will probably be all I need. Um, let's just 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 go into the replay. Apologies that the stream has ended exactly as it has done. Um, again, not something I planned, but whatever at this point. Um, back tomorrow with Omzi. Wayne will be doing that. I will just be going to chill out and everything else, and I need to sort a load of things out as well. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Look after yourselves and each other, that's the important thing. And we'll see you tomorrow for OMSI. Good night. Bye for now.